Hello, this is Slicemaster1275 once again, and you're going to now open your Minecraft. This is part two of how to get and open your Minecraft worlds. This time, I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft Forge. So, first you're going to type into your search bar, Minecraft, get the desktop app. The one that I talked to you about, Mojang, selling Microsoft, their, their version of Minecraft. Mojang still owns a part of Minecraft, I'm pretty sure, but... So you're going to get that one, not the Windows 10 edition that used to be the beta. So now you're going to press play demo and then open that once more, Minecraft, the desktop app one, not Windows 10. And then you're going to open your browser. That is going for me to be Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. I do also recommend uh, this one. It works just as well if you don't have antivirus because it works better with um, I forget what it's called. It works better with Windows Firewall and all that stuff. If it'll show. Come on. Sorry guys, it's taken a while. And all my Minecraft always logs my computer. Oh well. It'll show sometime. Microsoft Edge, that's what it was. Okay, that's the type of internet browser. And then there's that. Okay, so you're going to look up Minecraft Forge. And that's all you're going to look up, just that. Then you're going to go minecraftforge.net, or it's, or here's the web browser right here. The web, uh, the web URL. It's https colon slash slash files dot minecraft no space forge.net and then you're going to go to downloads for me I'm using the latest version of Minecraft which I had 1.11 1 1.11 1 .11. it's the same thing well I'm going to go to 1.112 and I'm going to go to downloads then and show all downloads and I'm going to go to the one with the star I'm not going to place this because I don't know what that is I don't think you're supposed to do latest. I've never done latest. I've always done the recommended, which for some reason today it's not showing the recommended downloads, so I'll just go with the one with the half star. Now you're going to click install a Windows if you're using Windows. I don't have any advice for you guys if you're not using Windows. I'm sorry about that. For all you Mac users and Linux users. So you're going to skip the ad. Don't click that. It's all spam. Press save file. And this is a very safe download depending on what um, don't use Chrome. If you're using Chrome, then get out of it and go to Firefox or Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer. That's where the download will be safe. Because sometimes Chrome can have codes imported in, into it. I don't know how. My computer, my old ones got hacked several times. Um, and I just had to restart it and shut it down and all that. And now I have this one. So, you're going to install the client and I, and pick the folder that you need it to be in. You should always keep it in the folder that it's already in though unless you know what you're doing. Press OK and it'll take a moment to download. And then you'll get a complete box with the info information symbol on it. It says successfully installed client profile from Forge for version Forge 1.11.2 up to 13.20.0.2201 into launcher. Okay? You can just click OK. And you're just going to exit out of your browser now. Now, what you want to do is you'll want to go to your look up Forge, I think, again. Oops. Yep. Install that. That's not what you needed. My bad. You're going to go to this your Minecraft launcher that you opened, and if you don't already have it open, open it. It'll look like this. Minecraft, not Windows 10 Edition. And you're just going to have your launcher open. And you're going to click New Profile. I'm going to name this one Ibex. You don't have to do what I do. I mean, it's your choice. Name it whatever you want. Ibex01 is what I'll be using. And you're going to go to the latest version of Forge that you have. So it probably... Yeah, it uninstalled my last version of Forge. So I I got this version of Forge. 
You're going to click that and you're going to press save profile. Welcome player. Ready to play Minecraft 1.11.2. Okay, that's weird. I didn't click that. Oh, that's default, my bad. Now you it'll it should say that. Yeah. Welcome player. Ready to play Minecraft 1.11-forge and then a bunch of other stuff right here. You probably can't see it because my camera's in the way. There you go. And it'll just say a bunch of weird stuff right there. And you're going to press play demo unless you have the full version. Then you probably shouldn't need Forge. But it's just a mod, basically. A mod loader. And it works. It makes the full version of Minecraft free. For most players. Now that I have it pulled up here, it'll say four mods loaded and four mods active. If you want to add mods, you go to the mods page, you can press done, mods, right there, and that's the mods that I have, zero child mods, zero child mods, zero child mods, and all zero child mods, well, Minecraft Coder Pack, my Forge Mod Loader, that's what I was talking about, what Forge is, Minecraft Forge, and Mercurius Updater, I don't know how to pronounce that real word, um, and then you're just done, you don't need to add any mods, I mean, you can if you know what you're doing, but I don't recommend it. I mean, it makes your computer lag. Now, if you have i3 or l later, I mean, uh, earlier, i3 or later Intel Core, I have i5 or higher. So, i3 or earlier is a terrible thing to do Minecraft with. Because it will lag and lag and lag. Like, it, it'll just screw up your computer, basically. So, now that you have Forge, you can do a single player. Any world, you can make your own world, you can recreate, and I'm going to open up this one, and watch what I'll do next. Now that the world is loaded, like watch, here's one command that I can do. You fly all the way up to where you can't see a single animal or thing. And this is one of the cheats I was talking about in the other last game. You're just gonna fly up. Let's see if I can do this faster. I wish. So now, let's see. I can't see anything, so you're gonna press either T or slash. Like, uh, backslash, I think. Maybe it's called. I don't know. It's just a slash button with the question mark above it. So, then you're gonna type in. Do game roll. Oh, wait, no. Let me see. Game roll. Yeah, game roll. Nope. Um, do. And you're gonna press tab till you'll see mob spawning. Then you're gonna play, press play, <coughs> press space, and then press tab again until you see the one you want. False. Now you can make it true again by doing the same thing. Press slash, type in game roll, tab till you'll see do mob spawning, and then you can press true again, but I'm going to make it false. Press enter, and you'll see game roll, do mob spawning has been updated to false. Then you can just double tap space again, fall, and you'll see zero enemies. And it really doesn't matter anyway since you are in creative mode. Enemies can't attack you, and they especially won't do it in peaceful mode. If you have it set to peaceful mode, they shouldn't load or spawn. But And that's it for now. Mod options. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you one more thing, actually. Save and quit the title. You can also make realms. Realm news, see? And it'll pull up your to your default web browser. You can buy realms, which I don't know what it does, so I'm not going to have to say anything on it yet. Maybe in another video. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.